From battlefields to the streets to the halls of power, Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty is there. RFERL has more than 500 full-time journalists and 750 freelancers in 17 international bureaus. We cover the news in countries where a free press is banned by the government or is not fully established. RFERL serves 23 countries in 25 languages, from the Balkans to the former Soviet Union, plus Iran, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Our mission is to promote democratic values and institutions with accurate, uncensored journalism. Radio Free Europe and Radio Liberty were launched during the Cold War, aimed at people under Soviet domination. This station daily pierces the Iron Curtain with the truth, answering the lies of the Kremlin and bringing a message of hope to millions. Today, RFERL serves new audiences and has gone far beyond its radio roots. It's a high-tech, multi-platform organization, reporting the news via satellite, smart apps, cable, mobile, the web, social media, and radio. Engagements with RFERL on Facebook and views on YouTube number in the billions every year. Dramatic scenes in Kiev. Other major media companies like CNN, BBC, and the AP use our reporting. Rocket landed outside his home. We're a private media company funded by a grant from the U.S. Congress. We're one of five networks that make up U.S. international media. We set our own editorial policy and our journalistic independence is protected by law. In keeping with our mission, our coverage pays special attention to issues of democracy and human rights. We're committed to reporting about minority groups. We shine a light on corruption, repression, militancy, and extremism. Some governments see RFERL's coverage as a threat. They try to jam our radio and television signals and block us on the internet. In some countries, RFERL journalists and their family members face relentless pressure. They've been threatened, physically attacked, imprisoned, and kidnapped by governments, militants, and corrupt interests for reporting the news without bias or favor. Every day, RFERL connects with people in their own languages. It may be television in Russian, Persian, and Kyrgyz, websites in Crimean Tatar, mobile news in Tajik and Pashto, or radio in Belarusian, Turkmen, and Dari. Current time, a 24-7 TV and digital news network for Russian speakers worldwide is a fresh alternative to Kremlin-controlled media. RFERL engages with audiences on the platforms they want, when they want. Our journalism is the reason we continue to break news and boundaries. RFERL is objective. Trustworthy. Reliable. Ethical. The way of life of free people. RFERL is a creative community. First hand information. Commitment to journalism. RFERL is a voice for the voiceless.